Crit 42 coming back at you with a recon guide number two. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. In this segment, I'm only going to be covering the pros and cons of hard scoping, which is how I like to play, versus quick scoping. Now, for me personally, I've always kind of believed that trying to quick scope 100% of the time belongs more in some of the smaller game styles, such as Call of Duty or even some of the older smaller ones like Counter Strike and Day of Defeat. But, I digress. I'm just going to show you the pros and cons of both hardscoping and quickscoping. So, here we go. Now, the first pro of hardscoping is that it gives you the opportunity to react and get the kill first. But, the one surefire way to make sure you're always successful is to never forget your pocket meat shield. Thanks, BB Mike. Now, the first pro of quickscoping is that it can save you in a pretty hot spot. Another pro of hardscoping is that if there are multiple enemies, the potential for kills is much higher when hardscoping. Yet we see again how quickscoping can save you from some potentially tight spots. Now, hey, whoa, whoa man, hey man, I know karate. I'm like the Jackie Chan of Battlefield, I promise you. Anyways, in this clip, we see how hardscoping gives you the advantage when facing multiple enemies. Especially when they're bunny rabbits. Where'd your mate go? Mm, there she is. And one more. Here I demonstrate an additional pro of hard scoping. Because I didn't have to bring up my scope, then shoot, I was able to adjust my strategy and get the kill. Mm, had I been hard scoping, that would have been an easy kill. Luckily for me, the enemy wasn't paying attention and I had enough time to pull out my pistol. And again here. The only thing that saves me is that second guy's lack of awareness. Here we see an attempted quick scope, followed by that meat shield. Man, that never fails. Go ahead and pick me off a prone guy. And peekaboo. Now, pay close attention to how close his bullet passes to my shoulder. I highly doubt I would have been able to survive that encounter had I been trying to quick scope. Nope, oh, two enemies, quick scope one, second one picks me off. There's that meat shield again. Now, hard scoping in situations like this allows us to get kills that otherwise would have been impossible. In this clip, we see how hard scoping allows me to pretty much control this corner and kill me a bunny. Hey, shoot you, sorry. But, uh,. <laughs> If they just want to walk into your crosshair, hey, more power to them. Another pro of hard scoping versus quick scoping is that it allows you to adjust when the enemy is hiding behind cover. And here again. Now this shot would not have been possible had I been quick scoping. Give me another hard scope. Oh look, easy shot. Okay, look, don't you judge me. I pretend I know how to play recon, not throw grenades. Another attempted quickscope on two enemies leads to an unnecessary death. But at the same time, guys, it's important that you be able to do both because it can save you hard scope, quickscope, in some potentially tight spots. 
and against vehicles. Now, traditionally, I would say that hard scoping is the only thing that really works, but uh, if they're just going to hover right in front of you, I mean, quick scoping yeah. works just as well. And let's play a game called Whack a Mole. Whack, 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 whack. Now, a really fun part of quickscoping is that it allows you to probably piss some people off. But, back to hardscoping. Hardscoping, like I said before, can let you make some really difficult shots. But, uh, sometimes quickscoping is just too much fun. Like I said, probably piss some people off. And again. But now, a message from our sponsor, Kids. Do Don't give in to peer pressure. Just because all the other kids are doing it, everyone says it's cool, doesn't mean that it's safe. Don't make poor decisions. Damn it, BB Mike. And again, hard scoping puts us in a position to make some very difficult shots. And in this clip, we're just going to ignore the upper left, left hand quadrant of the screen. I don't need any of you judging me saying, oh, oh, but, but, but there's a guy up there. There's a guy up there. I, trust me. I know he's there. I'm letting him, no, we're, we're ignoring the bullets. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm just letting him live. All right. It's totally on purpose. Let, let's just move on with our lives. See, two kills. No big deal. I, I just wanted to shoot him in the back. All right. Let's just not talk about it. Anyways. Bringing helis down, one bullet at a time. Alright, I got shot. I hard scope out. Easy kill. Nope, one more. Nope, he's running. Saw his buddy die. Oh. Quick scoping gone wrong. Sometimes you miss. Ooh, quick scoping gone right. Let's go ahead and put an end to the myth of uh, global warming. Because if C4 ain't doing it. Anyways. Here, hard scoping allows me to spot my enemies. <clears throat> you know, shoot mines out of people's hands. I don't want to brag. This guy's like, what, what, what the hell just happened? Here, hard scoping allows me to scan my field a little more thoroughly, spot some very hidden enemies, adjust my aim, and get some hard kills. Toss in an easy kill. And it allows me, again, the opportunity to adjust my aim and make some fairly difficult shots that wouldn't have been possible with quick scoping. But, yet again, quick scoping can save us from some potentially tight spots. You know he's pretty pissed off. And he just tried to quickscope me, and I'm hard scoping him. Yet again, quick scoping saves me. And one for the road. Hard scope, quick scope. All right, guys. Showed you a lot of clips today comparing hard scoping and quick scoping. But in the end, it really boils down to what you're the most comfortable with. So I hope you found this video informative please like and subscribe. And as always, good luck and have fun. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.